Good morning my loves and welcome back to my channel. I missed you guys so much. I hope you are having the most amazing day. Do you know what? I'm wearing a pop of colour today and I so underestimated how much it would boost my mood. Feeling very springy. I don't know about you because the weather is screaming not spring. The weather is screaming grey, dull, uh, boring. And I am so over it. Like, I'm so ready for a little bit of sunshine, flowers, Easter eggs. Yes, please. I've got my eye on two already. Marks and Spencer's Extremely Chocolatey Biscuit Egg goes down a freaking treat every year, babe. Number two, the mini egg, Extreme Egg. I think it's called, but it's like a chocolate egg with mini eggs actually in the egg, like in the chocolate of the egg bit of me anyway yeah i just feel so ready for fresh starts fresh weather fresh beginnings i'm gonna be really real and tell you that yesterday i had a little bit of a low menti h day i don't know what it was i don't know if there was something in the air because i spoke about it on my instagram stories and loads of you guys were saying i feel exactly the same so i don't know what it is it was just the vibes were off to say the least i just had so much negative self-talk in my head like yesterday i really was just being my own biggest bully like i have become so aware of my kind of inner critic in my mind and yesterday blimey someone let her off the leash this morning i woke up and i thought i'm not choosing that again today do you know what i am choosing babe tremendous amount of self-care treats at the candy shop better known as B&M. I'm talking self-care, self-love, hygiene, everything just fresh, girly, cute. I'm here for today and I thought it would make a really cute vid. Just a little bit of like a fresh hygiene reset and just go and see what's cute in the shops at the moment. So without further ado, I have a feeling this is going to be a hair claw situation. By the way, don't even look at my nails. That's shocking, isn't it? The fact that I have the audacity to come on here and be like, self-love, self-care, hygiene, and my nails look like I don't actually even want to discuss. Hello. I don't, yeah, sorry, I don't mean to, I've just gone over to work there and um, there's a lady, that, that guy over there, she was just pulling into here, slammed on her brakes. So I was just coming over to check to see if she's done anything to your car, to be fair. I don't think she did, but she slammed on her brakes and I looked and then she, Hastily reversed back in there. She just walked over there. Not to be dramatic, but I mean, my faith in men is high because I'm married to a wonderful, wonderful man. I have two beautiful kids at home that are boys. But in the general population, he just restored my faith in men. It's not often I get men knocking at the door of the car. Not gonna lie. It's not often. Bless him. Appreciate that. In case you're wondering, my car wasn't here. It's okay. I felt really sorry for the lady because you could tell that she was like. Oh my god, I just said that lady's car. You know what? We've all been there. We've all freaking been there. And that's why we deserve a B&M haul with our favourite self-care treats. Let's go. By the way, this is my favourite lip product. It's the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump Oil. This is in shade Peach Shimmer Gloss. Got it at Sephora when I was in Dubai. If you guys have watched that whole Q&A. You will know. Stunning scenes. Let's go. Before we go in, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. My name is Ellie. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm here for living loving and learning a little bit of motherhood a little bit of love a little bit of well just trying to be the best versions of ourselves and we're doing that by little b&m spruce up every now and then so let's go feeling okay feeling okay this is gonna be a trolley bag. welcome to b&m Welcome to heaven. Okay, don't get sidetracked by the cleaning things. Don't get sidetracked by the cleaning things. I did get a little bit sidetracked by the cleaning things. We love to have these all around the house. They smell so good. Okay, we've reached the aisle of all aisles, ladies and gents. I have genuinely been considering using stick on nails again, just because I don't know about any other mums out there, but I just, I really struggle to find the time to stay on top of my nail uh, routine. These look really good. Oh, they also have these ones of a different shape. Oh. Okay, 
honestly, B&M's range of bath salts here are amazing. These ones have really caught my eye, the Magnesium Flakes Bath Soak. I take magnesium every single evening anyway, and I genuinely find it makes such a difference. Like, the nights that I take magnesium, I sleep longer, don't wake up in the middle of the night, like, I don't wake up with anxious thoughts. I feel way more refreshed in the morning, fall to sleep quicker, like, it's just so amazing. So the idea of bath soak flakes very appealing to me. I also really like the sound of these ones because these are also sleep ones. I also like this Bondi Sands one. You can all get down with a little bit of coconut. Favourite ever shower gel brand is always going to be Dove. I'll never forget a story that my grandma told me about her wedding day. She literally said when she got married, which was in like 1950... 1950 something. Was it 1960 something? My mum was born in 1965. I think it was like, it was a while ago. She said that she literally didn't have any makeup on. She just had the Dove moisturizer and maybe like a little bit of powder. And I've never forgotten that. And ever since, Dove has always just held such a place in my heart because I feel like to last all these generations, stay at such an affordable price, to just do the job, like I just think, amazing. I've used this one in particular for ages, like, is really love it and i also really love the dove bar soaps which are here oh my god okay i've got a hot girl hack hot girl hygiene hack if you guys aren't using one of these um beauty cream bars before you actually like wash in the shower or the bath whatever you use you need to get on these either the pink or the white is cute i i like the pink there's not really much difference but this is gonna like clean you like do you know when people tell you to do like a double shampoo this basically does the exact same thing for your body we double cleanse our makeup off ladies we double cleanse our shampoo also double cleanse our bodies okay so you need to be using one of these and then you also need to be using like a nice moisturizing one for after you've cleaned so basically think of it like that's gonna actually get rid of all the dirt and then this is gonna actually go in and clean you moisturize you another little hot girl hygiene hack not to use any scented stuff down Hello. Sorry if my boyfriend's in the back watching. I know you don't want to learn about this right now. But yeah, like, you need proper feminine hygiene for that. So let's go and see if we can find some. Oh my god, guys, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I literally filmed the rest of the entire thing in B&M in slow motion. It meant I have no audio and I'm gutted because I literally had so many girly heart heart chats in the shop telling you all my beauty secrets. But that's okay, don't worry, because we've got a bomb.com haul come in literally just at the end of this vid in a sec. Um, but there were so many amazing things in B&M. I was literally so happy with everything I picked up. B&M will just always remain as like my favourite shop because honestly they just do everything. I think I spent all in all about £68. Anyway, let's get into the haul. Hello my loves. Oh my god, I literally cannot even believe that that happened. I was fuming with a capital F. Connor came into the um, room I was editing in. I was literally had my head in my hands. Do you know what? It's okay because at least the haul is bomb. Also, besides the point, but I used a new product in my hair this morning and I'm actually obsessed with the volume that it gives. Like, literally cannot even cope. I created a TikTok, so go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. Okay, so I'm going to run through all of this stuff as if we are going to have like a girly self-care self-love evening together actually i'm considering filming kind of like a part two to this video where i do a whole like ultimate that shower kind of routine and you know the shower i'm talking about shaving exfoliating getting rid of the old fake tan double shampoo hair mask like all of that so if you want to see that then let me know so to start with all of my shower goodies first of all i picked up this russell and windsor manuka honey exfoliating body scrub and this literally smells like a dream like i cannot even explain to you how nice this is and i'm so glad i picked it up oh i just love honey scented stuff so much honey and vanilla are my two like fave scents so yeah i just love the Love the whole thing. And then I also just picked up a pack of exfoliating gloves for a pound. So exfoliating essentials. I am also a fake tan girly. I don't know if you guys saw in the like that was 
freaking slow mo. I was looking at all of the different fake tans. They have so many good fake tans in BM actually. They did Bondi Sans, St. Moritz. Love those two brands. But yes, I am a fake tan kind of gal, so I need to exfoliate very regularly. These are the soaps that I bought. So I've been using this one for so long. This is the Dove Nourishing Silk. Oh my, my, that, oh yeah, love it. I always use that with the Dove bars. Now, like I said, when I was actually in the shop before I went into slow-mo, if you guys aren't double cleansing your body, you need to get on it. And this is just the duo that I love, but yeah, so good from B&M. I also picked up this, the Femme Fresh. Now, another little hot girl hygiene hat. Boyfriends in the back, turn off your listening ears, darling, all right? You guys are still using, like, fragranced soap on your little friend down there you're doing it wrong you need to get a femme fresh wash on that note this is besides the b&m haul but just considering as we're talking about this now and i don't know why but i'm literally envisioning talking to like my little sister or a daughter i may have one day if you're still wearing underwear to bed at night i think you need to stop that too i know that some people literally find that gross but hear me out we are in our tight clothing generation right we're wearing thongs we're wearing leggings we're wearing tight jeans like she needs some time to breathe. Anyway, that's enough vaginal tips. Not vaginal tips. I've got this little back scrubber. This is supposed to be a massaging one. So let's give it a whirl. I can't really say it's doing much, but I might be doing it wrong. I did end up buying the magnesium bath soap, which I'm excited about. Like I said, when I was in there, you guys need to be taking magnesium before you go to bed, honestly. Such a life changer. Like, I'm so gutted that I didn't start doing it until I was literally like 27 years old because I've been missing out on 27 years of really good sleep. Little Gillette Venus razor. Wherever possible, I always end up buying the stuff for sensitive skin. Even though I don't necessarily have sensitive skin, I just always find that like beauty stuff, self-care bits, it's just always nice to be a bit more gentle with your skin. That's something I've realized as I've got older. And then I also bought this Nair hair remover, which I've just realized why it's called Nair no hair she's not just a pretty face do you know what i mean yeah i can't believe i've never used hair removing cream i think i might have done once when i was literally like 14 and silly but yeah i've never used it so but it would just be fun to try out anyway okay so now envision that we are ready to step out of the shower we are ready to feel smoother than a dolphin babe smoother than a baby's bum you guys aren't using a body oil when you are wet out of the shower and i'm not even talking like oh pat 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 i literally use body oils before i use a towel at all and i just drip it all over my body moisturize it in wrap a towel gently around myself i obviously pat areas that need to be dried that's not a little vaginal tip for you right there okay ellie stop with the vaginal tips but yeah like my legs arms what's this called Declarette, Declior, no, that's just the name of the brand. Hips, lower stomach area, like especially when I was pregnant and you know your skin is stretching. The oils are so good. I picked up this one yesterday from B&M by the brand Natural Therapy, I think it's called. I got the almond vanilla body oil, which smells gorgeous. They also have a really nice coconut scent. And then when that's all soaked into your skin and your skin is feeling drier, I always go in with a moisturizer. So yesterday from B&M, I picked up this Aveeno one. I love the brand Aveeno so much. I use it on my babies. The Aveeno, what's it one? The purple one. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but the purple Aveeno for children literally is like my newborn scent for my children because I used it for both of their first baths. So it makes me very emotional to think about that. This one I picked up is apparently intensely hydrating and helps heal very dry skin. I don't have particularly very dry skin or very tight skin, but with it being the winter months and a little bit colder, we need the um, moisturizing help where we can get it. So we're gonna say yes to that. They also did a really nice, I think it was oat and vanilla scent moisturizer, but it was just like regular moisturizer. It wasn't like intense. So I thought that I would try the intense and actually, I used it for the first time this morning when I got out of the shower and I really rate it so far. I picked up some face packs, of course. Now, one thing I mentioned when I was in b and but it was in slow mo darling. My two favourite, like, ingredients to beauty and skincare, particularly on your face, have to be collagen and also vitamin C. I've been using the Gold Collagen, I believe it's called. It's a brand. I've been using their vitamin C like serum, which also has niacinamide in it. And I wanna say vitamin A, but I'm not entirely sure. On my face, it's called Instant Glow. And 
it was one of those products that oh yeah instant glow like we'll see if it's really instant glow because this is the glow freaking queen we're talking about babe and like later in the day i was like oh my god my skin is really glowy today what is that and i was like it really must have been the instant glow vitamin c is just such a nice ingredient for skincare it really really just helps brighten your skin it's so good these hydrogel eye masks that have vitamin c in them and i'm excited for that because my under eyes you guys know i've spoken about my under eye journey an awful lot i had tear trough for a really long time and then i recently got it dissolved back in like january yeah my under eyes are definitely an area of my face that i'm a little bit insecure about so i always try to help myself where possible so i'm very excited to see that they have some vitamin c eye masks i also bought a vitamin c sheet mask this is just from garnier and then yeah collagen collagen face mask now can i just say actually to any girly particularly over the age i'm gonna say of 25 get on the collagen supplements i want to scream actually from this rooftop i'm gonna climb up on the roof in a minute and say get on the collagen supplements i don't know if any of you guys have seen or like done any research into collagen but please please i might even create my own one even though i'm no skincare expert but i'm literally gonna create it on this like just freaking get on the collagen supplements please search tiktok and be like collagen and you need to see this diagram that i saw where basically okay when you're young when you're born when you're youthful and gorgeous and don't even freaking realize it which is so sad all of your actually i know what it was it was a tiktok about brad pitt getting a facelift but i don't know if that's like i don't know if everyone knows that but it was just like it came up in my tiktok that brad pitt had a facelift and it basically described like the facial muscles and collagen so it was really good so try to find that one all of your facial muscles are obviously like very tight to your bone okay let's not even try and pretend like i know the practical terms basically if you think of your facial muscles they, they're kind of all like a oh, kind of all like a puzzle or like a jigsaw okay so they all fit together really nice and tightly then as you get older what causes sagging and wrinkles is because the collagen which is the glue to all of these muscles starts to breakdown and so your muscles in your face kind of like literally sag because it, there's nothing holding them up tight and the thing that holds them up tight is collagen so take your freaking collagen supplements i use the collagen little drinky shots from a brand called gold collagen love them i have actually noticed a little bit of a change in my face since i've been using them but not like you know my muscles are like glued again to my face more just like the appearance of my skin this is the kind of thing that is an investment sis okay it's an investment to our 50 year old 60 year old 70 year old self i am not going to be looking back at my 28 year old self and saying i wish i wish she listened anyway now i'm literally sounding like i'm the mayor of collagen supplements so i'm gonna shut up i also bought a coconut foot pack i've heard people say that they sleep in this and they're yeah, literally super smooth when they wake up so yeah that was all the face masks that i picked up on the topic of skincare i also bought this little roller um i think this was literally like two pounds and how much of an aesthetic is she she's golden green like literally if you told me that was like 50 pounds i'd believe you i know we've already spoken about fake tan but i did buy this dove self tan lotion in light to medium now i don't know about you guys but this reminds me of when i was literally in year seven i used to use this all the time like i would lather myself on this every day and oh my god i would go to school so orange as an adult with a little bit more fake tanning experience what i love to do is do my I do my fake tan so like a mousse to keep it topped up i will always use this maybe like once a week or twice a week just to lock in the moisture and like you know i'll, I'll kind of fluctuate between the Aveeno moisturizer for instance with this dental hygiene i could not believe the amount of amazing stuff you could pick up from dent like don't get me wrong i you know i love bnm you know we go way back with bnm but i can't say i've ever like seriously looked at their dental hygiene stuff i don't know why oh my god like the stuff they do was so good i bought this euthamol toothpaste this is supposed to literally make your teeth like whiter than white and it doesn't even say it's a whitening toothpaste it's just meant to be amazing it kind of burns a little bit i don't know if anybody else finds that but if you're not on euthamol toothpaste get on euthamol toothpaste and then i also bought a new mouthwash this is an antibacterial one and then just a couple of other little miscellaneous bits that i picked up i did actually end up buying those stick on nails i haven't used stick on nails since i was probably about <laughs> 13 but i just thought that they were so cute and this is screaming get your life together babe like i said i just find it so hard to literally find the time to go to the nail shop because i know that if i go to the nail shop i'm literally committing 
half of my day to wear. I thought let's maybe go back to using stick on and see how we get on. And then I also bought this Mitchum deodorant. I am currently in the market for a new good roll on deodorant. I don't know what it is. It's since I've become a mum. I just really don't love um, my spray on deodorants anymore. It's, I'll tell you what it is. It's because I don't like spraying like something really chemical and stream in the same room as my children. I just don't like doing it. And actually deodorant is like really the only thing I feel like that. I do that. Let's not lie. 99% of the time I come out of the shower and mum is butt naked and she needs to put some clothes on and do her deodorant. My children are in the room with me nine times out of ten. I'm gonna become a roll-on deodorant girly. I have been using the brand called Wild Deodorant, which I love. Love them. I just thought seeing as I was in BM yesterday and I needed a top up, I'd try this Mitchum one. This is the powder fresh one. Um, let me know if you have any really good roll-on deodorants that you would recommend. And then finally, I also just bought this little pillow spray from a brand called Derma V10. I used this last, last night and I really like it. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know the brand Sleepworks. Their stuff is a little bit spenny. I just think like a pillow spray is a pillow spray do you know what I mean it's gonna like if it's got lavender in it which lavender is always gonna send me to sleep but yeah that was everything I picked up guys I hope you enjoyed this video I feel like it was a little bit of a throwback vid I haven't done just like you and me go shopping I've up some beauty bits in a really long time so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe also comment below if you'd like to see more videos like this and if so what would you like to see let's just remember as well as we head into the rest of our evening today self-care isn't just about going to the shop and buying other stuff. Self-care is about paying attention to habits, your self-beliefs, how you talk about yourself to yourself. It's about taking the time to just take some time. Something I need to do a lot more. So anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.